In this video, we take a look at the New York Times Historical, which is a great place to find primary sources. When accessing this database from home, you will need to log in with your net ID and password. As we've mentioned earlier, primary sources are documents, articles, images, or artifacts that provide first-hand testimony with direct evidence concerning the historical topic. These items are created at the time of the event. The Times includes newspaper articles as far back as 1851. To access this database, we start from the library's history guide, and then we go to the link Finding Articles, Photos, and Videos. The New York Times is in the middle of the list. When we enter into the database, we are immediately placed on the advanced search page. Our search will be Great War and America. We're using the AND operator which means that our results will be limited to only articles that contain both the terms Great War and America in them. Our results include over 5,500 items and we can further narrow down the list of results by using the limiters on the left hand side. We can further limit our result list by using Modify Search. When you click on that link, you can type in another word of interest. I'm going to try Economy. When I submit my search, I find 457 results. I might want to increase the potential number of results by using a search technique called truncation. This is where I use the root of the word, or a stem of the word, E-C-O-N-O-M, with a symbol, the star. In doing this, it will retrieve words with E-C-O-N-O-M at the start of the word. This might include results like economy, economies, and economic. This has increased my set of results. Let's take a look at the citations that we have retrieved. We have the name of the article, which is a hyperlink, so that you can access the full record and find out more information about the item itself. You will see on the result list the name of the author and the publication that it comes from. From this page, you can cite, email, print, and save articles that you might find of interest. But as with JSTOR, it's a good idea to go into the record to find out a little bit more about the item to be sure that it is relevant. On this page, you have the same output features such as downloading, printing, and emailing as you did from the result page. You will see a PDF of the article so that you can read the article as it was originally published. On this page, you can, you can use the site link in order to capture the bibliographic information about the item. As with the other resources that we discussed, it's a good idea to copy and paste this item into a Word or other document, but you'll need to check it against the library's booklet for citing your sources in MLA format or refer to the Purdue OWL links for correct formatting examples. 